I believe that this nation should commit itself of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. Fate has ordained that the men who went to the moon to explore in peace will stay on the moon to rest in peace. These brave men, Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin, know that there is no hope for their recovery. But they also know that there is hope for mankind in their sacrifice. These two men are laying down their lives in mankind's most noble goal. The search for truth and understanding. They will be mourned by their families and friends. They will be mourned by the nation. They will be mourned by the people of the world. They will be mourned by a mother earth that dared send two of her sons into the unknown. In their exploration, they stirred the people of the world to feel as one. In their sacrifice, they bind more tightly the brotherhood of man. In ancient days, men looked at the stars and saw their heroes in their constellations. In modern times, we do much the same. But our heroes are epic men of flesh and blood. Others will follow and surely find their way home. Man's search will not be denied. But these men were the first, and they will remain the foremost in our hearts. For every human being who looks up at the moon in the nights to come will know that there is a corner of another world that will forever be mankind. What about womankind? You'll never hear the sound of walking through the snow. You won't hear the birds whistle outside. If you care about a lot of these kind of things, then you really shouldn't apply for Mission Mars.